subject is a few less per generator. This is a generator that doesn't emit toxic waste. It can work continuously without the continual supply of coal. During the course of embarking on this project, we had some hypotheses developed. It is possible to generate more energy than the input energy. Dual tone multi frequency combined with modulated radio waves can be used to control a generator. Tough physical obstacles of the stands mini barrier. Well, my partner here will take you through the methodology of the project. Well, this is called the first part of the system here. What happens is that at first we connect these two 12 volt batteries to battery terminals right here. After that, we switch on the whole apparel, the whole setup. In here, we have two couplers which are light sensitive switches. They work based on um, shadow cast on them. So, with the aid of their light sensitive transistor, they draw current from the battery and send it to the base of their service link switch T1 and T2. This in turn sends um, current to their copper coils. Each transistor has been assigned to each set of copper coils. One controlling the fuel coils and the other controlling the load coils. They each have 4 by 4 percent, that's 4 coils to each. Now, when the current flows into these copper coils, they become energized. That is, the surface in the north pole of the magnet becomes north, the surface in the south pole of the magnet becomes south. And this causes repulsion, and causes the shaft to rotate. Now, in the since the magnetization for a short period of time, it creates a kicking like effect on the magnet, causing it to rotate in one direction or another. That, that causes to rotate in one direction only. When we disconnect the batteries from the terminals, it causes a collapse in the magnetic field around these copper coils, and it just induces back EMF. This um, colon here, this whole setup here, works based on electromagnetic induction and the uh, flame is left hand. Now, this induced voltage is more than the input voltage, and it is this one we harvest into. So we have four coils here, basically for powering the whole system all over again. This cuts off the use of any source of fuel because this generator generates its own power. We also have four calls for um, powering our load. That is pumped into our capacitors bit by bit until it becomes full. And this helps us to smooth in the current process. We have part rectified to DC with the aid of our dial valve. Now, the part is stepped up and used to power our output. Here we have our um, volt meter. Choose um, the power of how to be produced. Also, the director can be remotely controlled using our parents control device for home management, safety, and security. In here, we have a radio transmitter, and in here, we have a radio receiver. Well, they, it sends radio waves at its three megahertz, and this receives at that same frequency. Now, since this is in series with um, our switch, this cuts off the use of the switch and can switch on. Um, the generator itself using the button six of the cell phone. Thank you. Okay.